Good afternoon, families. Uh, it's coming to you in the new year. It is Friday, January 14th, 2022, and welcome back to uh, a new year, but not a new year. Um, obviously, the year did not start the way that I envisioned, but I do want to say thank you for all of the positive messages and support. Um, it has absolutely helped these last two weeks as I have been at home and doing the best I can supporting uh, from home, uh, writing lesson plans and getting things ready. Um, so thank you. Um, just kind of recapping things that we've been going over for the first uh, two weeks of the year. Uh, in phonics, we started with initial three-letter blends. Uh, so that's words like splat, like sp and ul and scrub. And we took a test this Monday um, on that and then started diving into digraphs, which are uh, things like SH and C CH and TH. So uh, when two letters work together, they make a new sound. So instead of S for SH, it would be SH. Uh, so that's what we've been working on in phonics. In reading, we started 2022 by really getting to know main characters. So thinking about who a story is mostly about and then thinking about uh, how do they feel? What do they like? What do they not like? To help us with predictions on where a story might be going, but also comprehension. What is the story about and how well do I know the main character? This week, we've been working on taking that and building upon it by choosing a book that we have read and practicing our fluency, not sounding so robot -y, to culminate today on retelling our story in like a small mini play. So I'm going to have students, hopefully, uh, record those on Seesaw. Um, and so I'm looking forward to seeing those. So hopefully you will as well. So that's kind of exciting. Um, in, uh, let's see, starting this next week for reading, we're going to be moving into nonfiction. We're going to be looking at animal books to learn facts about actual animals and how nonfiction books work. So like table of contents, index, glossary, those kinds of things. And how do we identify facts? Uh, which will become really fun. Uh, then in math, we finished our module two for our curriculum, which was adding and subtracting numbers up and around through 20 by regrouping in sets of 10 and things like that. Uh, so we took a test on Wednesday. So can't wait to see what that turns out. I'm sure everyone did their absolute best. And then we're going to be moving into uh, measurement, uh, starting with non-standard measurement things. So like how many paper clips long is a shoe? Uh, or measuring with small strips of paper. Uh, we're going to be working on that for a little while, and we'll still be maintaining our addition and subtraction fluency. And then uh, probably by somewhere in Feb February, we'll be looking at also capacity, so the measurement of how much stuff can hold. Uh, let's see. It's one of my favorite topics, uh, just because there's a couple of really fun in-class things that we actually get to do. Um, in writing, we've been finishing our fiction writing books that have really become long format stories because almost everyone has partnered up and have been writing these huge epic stories since like December. So this was our last week to finish those up because we're going to be moving into nonfiction writing as well, which will obviously uh, bookmark quite well with our nonfiction reading. Uh, so we'll be writing books up that we research about animals, so writing facts and things that we know. So that's kind of cool. In science, we've been continuing our investigation into rocks, pebbles, and sand by identifying, sorting, and classifying different kinds of rocks and rock types. Um, this next week, we're going to be working as scientists as we get to investigate and document our rock observations as we look at and get a chance to take a look at and kind of feel and touch and investigate a collection of different rock items. So that's fantastic. I hope I hope this last week and a half has been um, just a mere hiccup in our year. Um, my goal, obviously, was to make sure that whatever we do continues to the best of our ability, what we have been learning, so students don't have like a week where things kind of got paused. Um, I've heard lots of really wonderful, positive um, interactions and emails from uh, Miss Gail Sweeney and Miss Harrison and some of the other first grade teachers as well that have kind of popped in and taken a look. Um, so, but I have absolutely just missed everybody. Um, so I am really looking forward to getting back, uh, into the classroom this next week, Tuesday, January 18th, uh, where we're going to be, uh, 
doing a couple of lessons that I uh, would had hoped to be able to do this week, but obviously I'm not there around uh, Martin Luther King. Um, and uh, yeah, I just hope you're all doing well. Um, please take care. Please stay warm, <laughs> obviously. And um, have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you next week.